Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are finally back with some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Uh, you guys know I have been obsessed with uh, this game, super fun, uh, and uh, I think last time we played, uh, we actually beat Crystalline Caverns for the first time. We beat the first ever mission, uh, and we not only have a new class to try out, but we have a new area to go to, the Hollow Bow. Boo. Um, the there's some biome goals, uh, to complete the dive, uh, to mine a bunch of regenerating vines, and then reach level 30 with the engineer. Um, we did the engineer last time, so we're actually not going to be trying that objective. I want to try out the driller, but the driller will help us with that other objective. Uh, the driller likes to get up close and personal, burning his way through hordes with chemical weapons, and mining his way through walls with his, uh, trusty power drills. So we're going to be trying out the drill. Uh, he has a passive default foreman when mining, gain 2% mining speed for 2 seconds stacks up to 25 times and we have a quick firing weapon that shoots behind you dealing kinetic damage so uh can't complain Ain't about no that like me. and we're doing it we're, we're in the game here a um done, so if you guys uh have seen this game before we mine stuff we're mining resources we also kind of auto shoot and auto kill enemies here uh with our uh, pistol uh, i'm gonna turn Actually, I think audio is down or good. Let me know if, uh, if it needs to be. Man, 50 max HP? That's crazy. But I'm going to do 45% pickup radius. Because I feel like early on that would be really, really cool. But yeah, we've never gone to this area. I'm going to turn down the volume just a little bit. Let me know if I overcorrected. Um, but yeah, we, so we can either level up weapons. Uh, we'll go ahead and get uh, give it more damage here, this pistol. And so this is what we would get an achievement if we kill a bunch of those regenerating vines. But obviously my, my priority here, we have a secondary objective in the top right of collecting more kite. Um, and, uh, you know, there's some other uh, progression stuff as well. We got five areas, as you can see in the uh, middle left. Kind of taking a lot of damage here. That's okay. But I got to say, we're, the, the miner feels very nice to have this mining speed. We'll go ahead and level up the fire rate of our pistol. There's a, a supply beacon somewhere. We're going to mine the uh, the loot bugs. They can have gold and nitro and stuff. I'm assuming we take damage if we try to mine those other uh, thorns. But yeah, this character, Driller, seems like a cool character on this map. Obviously, first time we're playing Driller here. So we're trying to get our drop pod here. Our supply pod. Oh, we leveled up right before. Uh, we could either have a flamethrower or a flamethrower turret. Or let's just get a flamethrower myself. Oh, it's a flamethrower on both sides. Yo, that's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even get the art. I didn't get my artifact or supply pod. Okay, so we could get an artifact, which is just 70 max HP and two life regen. We unlocked that last time. Or we could get small chance to find gold when mining any kind of rock. I'm going to do that because we are the driller. So all of these mining related uh, things seem pretty good. I'm just going to go around mining, kind of ignoring the enemies a little bit, which means I am going to get less uh, um, unlocks, but that's fine. We completed the secondary objective. Uh, yeah, we'll go and do 15% mining speed. If we just do a mining build with the driller, I mean, that seems to be like the exact thing that we would want to do. So I think that should be pretty good. Um, crit damage. I don't, by default, we have a 7% crit chance. No, I'll just level up the pistol. As you get certain levels, you get uh, different um, like overclocks and stuff like that. And that's really nice. Uh, we'll level up uh, pistol. Give me, give me, give me. And then obviously the other weapons like the flamethrower, if we've never gotten them to level 12, we want to get them to level 12 uh, for the first time. And then we unlock the ability to get overclocks for them in future runs. So, like, every aspect of this game has so much meta progression. It's kind of nice. Um, I don't know if I should be focusing on killing these enemies a little bit faster, but I really just wanted to find all of these materials here. The nitro, the gold. Uh, plus, we're maybe getting some extra gold when we mine stuff, too. So, I'm trying to see, like, how often it actually triggers. Because, like, I got 35 gold right there. <gasps> now I have 36 gold. There's an elite spawn in here. If I'm the driller, I want to make sure I'm getting as much of the currency as I possibly can. 
That's, uh, that's the priority. Okay, level up the flamethrower, more damage. I definitely want to try to get the flamethrower to uh, level um, level 12, unlock that overclock. We got another gold. This flamethrower is pretty cool. I like that there's it attacks in two different patterns. I like that we have a big pickup radius as well. We'll do reload speed on the flamethrower. Anything we can to get it to level 12. So I'm assuming... Oh, you just can't? Okay, you cannot mine those spiky thorns. That's interesting. So this guy's about to die. I want to make sure I get all of this experience. We have 30 seconds to get to the drop pod. Otherwise, I think you just instantly lose. 5% damage up on all our weapons. Take a little bit of damage. That's okay. 15% uh, damage on the flamethrower. Totally fine with me. A little bit of gold here I can get right before the end. Okay, cool. Get me out. Get me out of here. Okay, so one out of five done. Um. Okay, I'm gonna buy movement speed. I'm gonna buy an upgrade to the flamethrower. I'm gonna buy mining speed and armor. Uh, and honestly, reload speed on the pistol. We'll just buy everything. So that means we get our first overclock ever. You know what? Let's do fire. Let's do fire. We have a flamethrower, and now we're going to turn our pistol into a fire pistol. So hopefully we don't get countered, but we're going for it. We're just going to do a bunch of fire. That way, if we see any things that buff uh, the damage of uh, fire, we've already broken 250 out of 750 regenerating mines. Let me get this loot bug. All the loot that we can get here. So now we need to find 12 of these bolo caps. That's our secondary objective. We must find more gold. I mean, our mining speed is insane. It's gonna get. It's gonna be hard to get used to uh, going back to other characters after playing the uh, the miner. All the classes are really, really cool. Very different. Okay, big big boy enemy over there. That's fine. I'm just mining, finding all these resources. I love these. I love the the way the flamethrowers here work. How long we've we been live for? Uh, we've been live for an hour and a half. Nothing crazy. I'll do more fire rate on that pistol. Welcome, welcome, Defcon. Figured I'd pop in real quick before work. Welcome, welcome. If your work goes well today, we're just doing some miney, miney kill, kill. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you all right after I say that. Okay. So there's a there's a drop thing here. Just gotta clear out all of this so the drop stuff will actually come. Might actually end up using it. Yeah. Okay. It's probably going to kill. It's gonna drop on some people here. Come on. Come on, baby. Boom. Okay. You get a small chance to find gold when mining any kind of rock. Yeah. We're gonna keep doing that. We're just. This is a very heavy mining build. So, uh, six percent XP gain. Sure. We're early on in a run. XP gain probably goes a long way here. I took a lot of damage there trying to make that flamethrower do a lot. Need to go find some red sugar. I killed the loot bugs and I'm not so proud of it. I love this. Okay, might as well get the uh, fire flamethrower or the fire turret here. <laughs> so we're just doing everything fire related. I love it. Everything fire related with this uh, this driller build. Okay, swarm coming. That's fine. Maybe I shouldn't get myself cornered here, but I see the Bulu caps. Probably a lot harder for us to get cornered just because we can, oh geez. Allegedly mine pretty fast. Allegedly, allegedly. A lot of stuff to mine over here. Yeah, now that we have two instances of that artifact of mining things has a chance to give us gold, we should be getting quite a lot of gold. Got all the max Bulu caps, so secondary objective completed there. Increase the lifetime of all beam weapons, which counts for the flamethrower and the fire turret, so sure, I'll get that. Some kind of some more XP I'd like to wrap around and get here. Maybe not that much. I don't want to take too much damage. We're kind of low. We are kind of actually very low. Some loot bugs here. I want to find some red sugar. There's some red sugar. Not a lot of it. Okay, we got an elite to kill now. Should be fine. I don't need any more Bulu caps. 
Dude, this flamethrower is really good for elites. Maybe we might actually be able to uh, get the um, other stuff. Okay, uh, we'll do more XP gain again. Like I said, we're early in the run here. Why did I only just now get the Discord notification? <laughs> I do not know. Sometimes Discord notifications are wild. I do know sometimes there's there can be a lot of them on my Discord, so I do understand that. Uh, slowly level up the flamethrower turret. Maybe try to get the overclock for that unlocked as well. Either way, glad you found us here. I miss out on some of this experience. A little bit sad. Whatever. We're doing pretty good. We have 113 gold. That's a lot of gold. Um, okay, we're going to level up a uh, flamethrower and the fire turret. And then the fire turret again. We're going to increase the range of all the flamethrowers. More uh, XP. And then I won't reroll anymore because I don't have a ton of currency, but being able to buy out these shops every time, quite insane. So we're trying to get a uh, Morkite here. Very good secondary objective for the driller. We're doing pretty good, but we're in area three of five. This is definitely where the game's going to start kind of picking up in difficulty, I think. We're just looking for stuff to mine. I see some loot bugs. You can always mine the loot bugs. If you don't feel bad about it. Oh, there's some red sugar over here. So much better now. So much better now. Give me that more kite. Dude, I already completed that objective. We're so fast at mining. And I love these turrets as well, because just setting up kind of a perimeter when I'm mining a little bit is a very fun build. Um okay. I'm going to do XP gain one more time. We're doing XP gain one more time. I don't think I want to keep taking XP gain over and over and over. Yeah, see you, man. Okay, took, took some damage, took some damage. We'll get this red sugar. A lot of this stuff over here. There's a supply beacon somewhere. Oh, dude. Beautiful chain reactions there. Uh, yeah, we'll level up the flamethrower too. Doesn't actually help it, but gets us closer to that unlock, so... Can't complain about that. Okay, let's go get this drop pod here. Gonna go buy it, grind, love the stream. Yeah, of course! Appreciate you being here, my man. Challenge you to do a zero damage run one day? That seems hard, because you always start with, uh... You always start with... A weapon, so it might be a little bit hard, but <laughs> and I don't want another gold scanner. I'm now gonna take the BLT ration pack, 70 max HP, two life regen. Just kind of get a little bit of defense, uh, defensive stuff here. Help us set up against the dreadnought that we're gonna eventually have to fight. I uh, just want to keep mining. Some more uh, red sugar over here. We'll level up the fire turret reload speed. We want both of those to be to level 12 so we can, in the future, unlock the overclocks for them. There's just so much progression in this game. I love it. You got the missions. You got the overclocks you're unlocking. You got the classes you're leveling up. Okay, there's another swarm. A lot of the times the swarms make me want to just kind of bunker down, but I'm the driller, so... Screw bunkering down, right? We gotta, we gotta drill. We gotta mine. We gotta get all the currency. We're gonna level up the flamethrower to have a little bit more damage. Get it uh, closer to level 12. Got a bunch of nitro there. These flamethrowers. If I can just keep getting more and more range on these flamethrowers, that would be really nice. Really nice. I'm about to fight one final elite here. I think I've gotten all the resources for the most part. So maybe I just kind of circle around and try to actually pick up some of this experience. Because we haven't been getting a ton of experience since we're kind of just focusing on the mining. Uh, level up the flamethrower. Two away from unlocking overclocks. Hey, oh dude, magnet. Magnet. It's going to give me all the experience I could ever want. At least from the map. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo! Okay, and we got a high explosive grenade. Does kinetic damage, whatever. 
Um, 20% lifetime of the flamethrower and the uh, fire turret. Absolutely, that was a legendary. Uh, we'll go ahead and reload speed of those flamethrower and stuff. Uh, we'll level up uh, the damage of our pistol here, because our pistols fire as well. Status effects, so increase the damage over time of the fire. This is a, seeming like it's a pretty good build here so far, this fire driller build. Oh my gosh. This is a fun build for sure. It's hard for me to get stuck because I can just mine my way out of things really fast. Okay, I'm gonna get all this juicy experience here. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll do uh, reload speed of the turret. And we're gonna do uh, two levels on the turret, so it's closer to just the unlock. Doesn't actually make it better. But it gets us closer to the unlock here. Uh, we're gonna do damage of the uh, turret. So we're very close to unlocking two different overclocks. Sometimes we kind of screw ourselves by trying to spread too thin, but I think we'll be okay here. I think we'll be okay. We have so much money from those gold artifacts. Um, okay, damage up on the uh, weapon level. We'll do movement speed. And I guess just for buying it, we'll do XP gain, pickup radius, crit chance. Call it a day here. Honestly, one of the better runs I feel like I've been getting. Though we have been getting out of game progression, which is, you know, making just everything easier in the future, so. So here we're back to collecting Bulu caps. Give me some sugar. Very interesting that we, yeah, we have these things that we can't mine through. Oh man, it's like surrounding this whole area. Can I go around? Hey. Give me the gold. Give me the gold. Give me the gold. I mean, half the time just mining through, I'm getting at least a little bit of something. Got a stronger enemy here. Dude, the flamethrowers are... All this fire, man, against, like, elite enemies is so good. Seems like it's good against swarms, too. These flamethrowers are insanely good. Uh, crit damage. Sure, because our crit chance is now at 16%. I don't know how, how great that is. I'm assuming crits can activate just the same as any other weapon, even though we're a fire weapon. I just... It's hard for me to imagine a flamethrower critting, but uh, you know what? That's okay. You got some Bulu caps. A lot going on. We have a lot of experience. Fire's really good against these explosive guys because you get them on fire and then they end up blowing up kind of further away from you. You don't have to be all quirky perky with trying to trigger them. Uh, beam damage for all of our beam stuff. Sure, I'm not going to focus on leveling up this grenade. I think that's... I need to just commit to what I have. I think that's the best thing that we could do for this. Uh, reload speed on the turret. So both the uh, turret and the flamethrower themselves, both at level 10. Now the flamethrowers... Oh man, armor's really good. No, I'll, I'll take the armor. I'll take the armor. I just hope I don't throw and we don't get either of the uh, uh, unlocks. Because I am getting a little bit low. Nine armor, dude. That's so much armor we have. We have so much armor right now. I'm just mine more currency. Nothing better than mining currency. Uh, there was some more red sugar I could get. There's just kind of a lot going on right now. I'm gonna actually circle around to pick up all this experience before I do the supply drop, because I think there's there's a lot of experience that's maybe gonna be dropping here soon. Another swarm, though. Okay, reload speed on the fire turret. And... I'm gonna... Uh... Now I'll get armor. We have a lot of armor. There we go, there's all those chain reactions. Look at all of this experience. Hey, and we got the achievement for mining 750 regenerating gems. Love that our pickup radius is pretty good. We got that big thing early on. 
Uh, okay, uh, we'll do fire rate of this weapon, get that close to overclock. I know I could have unlocked overclocks, but we'll eventually find it. There we go! So we have now, the fire turret is level 12, we've unlocked future overclocks for that. Uh, we'll do crit chance, since we did a little bit of crit damage, I guess. I don't know. Feels weird to do, I normally, in other roguelikes, don't do crit builds too, too much on stuff like this, but. Okay, we honestly might kill the elite with the drop pod. Probably not, actually. We got it. Collect red sugar increases your max HP. We'll just say increase healing granted on level up. That can be very helpful later on. Got a little bit of health regeneration, nothing crazy though. It's like if I can just get this guy to Dude, the fire is just so good against elites. These fire turrets and stuff. Oh my gosh. This is such a fun build. Okay, gotta get to the drop pod here. I guess we'll do crit damage. I really- it feels really weird to be doing crit stuff here. Okay, a lot of explodey guys making it a little bit harder to get to the drop pod. That would suck to lose a run because I couldn't make it back to the drop pod. That would really suck, but I think we're good here. A little bit more yummy yummy experience here. Uh... Crit chance, a little bit weird. Risking it a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. I was a little bit too I was a little bit too aggressive actually. I got an overclock. More reload speed, more clip size. Okay. Am I gonna be able to make it back? Ooh! Ooh, I had one second left. I got an extra level up. That was so close though. But we made it. Oh my gosh. Okay, more beam damage, more reload speed of the flat flamethrower turrets. I'm gonna pay to heal whatever. Reroll. Um, more status effect damage. And we'll level up the damage and the fire rate of the pistol, getting that close to its final overclock. Um, I don't really feel like upgrading the grenade. I'm not, we're not doing the grenade. Okay, so we're on the final map here, which is trying to fight the elite. The Dreadnought. I've only beaten the game once before. <laughs> that was last episode. So we just gotta find these eggs that aren't there. We gotta find the baby eggs and break them open to piss the uh, the boss off. That's how we awaken the Dreadnought. I don't really know if there's a purpose for me. Gold I think I can use to re-roll. The Nitro I don't know if there's necessarily a purpose to get anymore. It's okay, though. Uh, is this game in the play market? Are you talking about the Android play market? If so, I don't think so. I think it's just a PC game right now. Okay, we're gonna burn this egg. Burn this egg! Yeah, I think this is a really good build for, uh... For killing bosses. Yeah, I do know there's been a lot more roguelikes recently that have been coming out on mobile. Peglin, Brotato, stuff like that. I think Balatro is going to be coming out on mobile at some point. But uh, not right now. Not this game, at least. Honestly, I don't really see that happening anytime soon, but... Okay, um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So it's level 11. We really want to get that to level 12. So we unlock the overclocks for it. Um, a lot of loot bugs here. We don't necessarily need them. Probably gonna do the supply beacon, honestly. This just a bunch of gold to maybe help me with rerolls is really all this is. And I'll go get the, uh, the supply drop. Okay. Give me my supply drop, please. Okay. Oh, glad to show up for some Deke Brock, as I have uh, played a few more times and learned that paint job isn't that helpful. It's helpful for getting stuff closer to overclocks or for unlocks. It doesn't technically help you at all, but it gets you closer to overclocks and closer to leveling up the overclocks if that's what you need. Um, so we're gonna now say knock back slow enemies when you take damage on a 30 second cooldown. Immediately use it up one time, but that's, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, this is the main egg, so we need to find the smaller eggs. There's one over here. 
Welcome, welcome, Caden. Okay. I'm gonna kill the loot bug real fast. No remorse. No remorse. More out of game progression. Okay. So after we kill this guy, we can start fighting the Dreadnought early, which is really helpful, I think, because it uh, buys us time to... Because if, if you wait until the very end for that thing in the top to go down, if you take too long killing the boss, all the enemies will get stronger and stronger and stronger. And uh, yeah, so the earlier we can start this Dreadnought fight, if we can start it early, I think that'll buy us a little bit more you know, time. Uh, okay, we're going to reroll. There we go. 15% damage. Another level 12. So we have unlocked the overclocks for both the flamethrower and the other uh, fire turrets. Okay, so now I think I'm allowed to start killing the Dreadnought Egg early here. And we're just going to create a bunch of turrets everywhere here. Dreadnought's really hard, but we got this. We got this. I got decent mining speed. Oh my god, the fire's doing pretty good against this guy. Just gotta make sure to not get landed on him by him. You get landed on the by the dreadnought, it kind of hurts. Kind of hurts getting stepped on by a dreadnought. I'm taking a bunch of damage randomly. I really feel like I shouldn't be taking. It's like I'm trying to stay close to him so my flamethrower hits him. Okay, he's almost at half health. Oh, looks like there's some explodey enemies starting out. Starting to spawn, maybe. Oh, God. A lot of explodey enemies. A lot of explodey enemies. He's less than half health. Uh, we're going to level up our pistol. Leveling up our pistol is probably one of the best things that we can do. Because if we can get a max tier uh, overclock for that. I imagine that would be pretty good. No, 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 Mr. Dreadnought. No, no, no. See, we haven't gotten that notification that the game's gotten harder yet. Oh, God. He almost landed on us there. Trying to keep this uh, figure figure eight or whatever. Maybe we just go pick up some of this experience over here. Oh, man. We just barely got both of the overclocks unlocked, too. But I think we got it here. Yep, the aliens grow stronger. You think I care? You think I care? Killed the Dreadnought, baby. And uh, I am now uh, taking, taking the W. We did it. We did it first try. Let's go. I mean, I know part of it's the meta progression or whatever, but let's go. Let's go. I've gotten legendary upgrades that are equal to overclock, plus it's easier to do more damage if you know what to upgrades to get. Yeah, that's fair. Overclocks are just fun for me, at least. And hey, what's up, Manny? We're, we're rocking stoning. So we unlocked the overclock for the fire turret and for the flamethrower. We have now unlocked a corrosive sludge pump, a Colette wave cooker. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, we've unlocked a lot. So we'll do one more run here. I think I want to still try to do the fire stuff. Maybe try out some of those overclocks we unlocked, but meta progression here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and level up a uh, chance to get higher rarity upgrades twice. And we're going to do movement speed. And we're going to do weapon reload speed. So we've gotten a lot stronger here. Oh, next time we play, we can go to the salt pits. We'll save that for next time. Um, so uh, this, we want to do this eventually with the engineer. We're going to go back to the magma core because we've never beaten this magma core one. So I think we're going to go back to the magma core here. We're going to play the driller. We still just have the foreman. Here to mine, and I do it okay. This is it. Let's do this here. We're all doing a run, press V. What is V? V doesn't seem to do anything. Give me a rock and stone. Rock and stone. So we're going to try to do a fire area in the fire area. Or fire build in the fire area. We'll go ahead and get uh, armor because we already have good mining speed. Maybe I could have got even more mining speed. I don't know. Okay, so we are looking for those alpaca blooms. Here's two of them. One, two. I love how pretty the areas are in this game. Uh, XP gain early on in a run. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to take a little bit of damage here. 
It's whatever. Nice. Uh, increase the damage of all your weapons by 15%. Now, I don't know if that's retro. Like, I don't know if that applies for future weapons. I think it does. But I could see a world where it's only the ones you have. I don't know. We completed the objective. Okay. Ooh, okay, we unlocked a new fire weapon. So we're going to commit to the bit of unlocking the Colette Wave Cooker, a handheld microwave emitter that splits its damage between all enemies caught in its cone. That's pretty cool. I'm trying out all these new fire weapons. All that corrosive stuff looked interesting too, maybe for a future episode. But I, I do fire because I'm wanting to try out the other fire weapons if we can find them. Uh, the ones that we unlock the overclocks for, because I'd like to see what those overclocks, you know, what they, how powerful they can be with that. Uh, status effect damage, absolutely. We're doing a fire build, so. This microwave gun, that's kind of cool. Microwave gun, kind of cool. Okay, explodey little mines there. Got a mine for the beacon. We might be able to kill this little elite dude. Dude, that microwave thing is insane. And I think we same type of build here. Um, increase your damage done by 1% for every five gold you have. That's interesting too. We could just never spend our gold. Um, but I'm gonna go nitro scanner. You get a small chance to find nitro when mining anything. I think those types of artifacts are some of the best things we could probably get. Uh, we'll level up this microwave gun uh, with the driller. Yeah, V doesn't seem to do anything. Tried it again. <clears throat> okay, got some explodey boys. Dude, the microwave gun, man. It's a little bit harder to aim, but if you aim it correctly... Actually, I, I, it might auto-aim. Maybe it was doing... It looked like it was hard to aim, but I think that was when... Um... We're going to level up the damage on that. I think that was actually just because there weren't maybe any enemies in the, the radius. Well, this microwave gun's freaking hot, dude. Freaking hot. Yeah, it seems like it's just randomly targeting certain enemies. That's what it appears to be. Okay, paint job. We're just getting it closer for that to leveling up. Whatever. Um... Crit damage. I'm going to just go pick up radius. I don't really want to do crit. I just want to cook people with a microwave. Um, okay, we'll go ahead. See, here I'll do the fire rate over the paint job for the pistol. Got some yummy experience. We'll level up uh, fire rate on that pistol. Because if we could turn that fire again... That would be super satisfying. Let's get some of this experience before we leave. This microwave gun is so cool. Um, okay, we're going to uh, paint job it again. It's technically already level 7. We're already super close uh, to level 12, which this is just helping us get the unlocks. But Okay. Um, so we're going to do XP gain for sure. We're going to say more damage on that microwave, more reload speed on it. We'll say some max HP and call it a day. Okay, we're looking for alpaca blooms again. We got one already. So it's like, yeah, we just want to start out going for it. There's some red sugar that I don't care about. When this is over, I'm starting my own damn bloody mine. Okay, finding some alpaca blooms. Not seeing any... Oh, there's some currency here. Do I hurt taking this? I do. I'm going to take damage getting this gold, but you know what? I was about to say for democracy, but that's Helldivers too. This is this is for capitalism. This is not a democracy video game like Helldivers 2. This is about cold, hard capitalism. Okay, swarms come in. I can't remember if you're allowed to re-roll weapon drops. Or like when it when we get to level 15 and we get another weapon. But now we're level 13, but we're getting there. This amount of game currency. 
There's some red nitra, and then uh, some an alpaca bloom to the left, some gold to the right. It's like I'm kind of just like ignoring the enemies. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of damage to them, but I'm really just trying to mine everything I can as fast as I can. Big explosion helping me mine. Can't complain about that. Um, we're going to do XP gain again. Because we do need to make up for the fact that we're not just like fighting fully. We're like mining a ton. Why am I watching a Twitch ad now? That's weird. I can't tell because I'm on the multi-stream. Are you subscribed? If you're subscribed, you shouldn't. Normally, I run ad breaks between games. So there isn't mid-roll ads. Like, Twitch auto-forces those. But I didn't do that between this game. Because I didn't want to keep people waiting. Oh, there's a magnet. Let's go. Let's go. They're m okay. Okay. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Okay, we're gonna take the flamethrower here. So now we can actually overclock the flamethrower. Let's go. So all that hard work last episode, we're gonna get to try it here. No, I'm not, maybe my page refreshed. <clears throat> yeah, Twitch will just autoplay ads every now and then for people. For some reason. Uh, well, I, I guess not for some reason, there's a reason, but. Okay, so definitely wanna try to level up that, uh, that one thing. Okay, uh, we'll do the weapon. Movement speed's really nice too, but. So much experience. Um, I'm gonna, whatever, I'll do a little bit of mining speed. Okay, there's an elite slasher coming. We're gonna level up the microwave. More damage. Fire rate a ton on that pistol. And beam damage, which is both of the flamethrowers. We'll do that. Love that. Oh, there was a beacon. Oh, there was a beacon. There was a beacon. I actually don't want to kill this guy this fast. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to kill this guy this fast. I forgot about the beacon. Forgot about the beacon. Okay, come on. Let's kill him. Kill him with the, the thing. Kill him with the thing. Kill him with the thing. We did actually. Um, okay, now we're gonna do, we have, okay, small chance to find XP when mining any kind of rock. Let's do that. We got a bunch of overclocks we want, so similar to the other one we got. We could get our first overclock, but I'm gonna say reload speed on the flamethrower. That's the priority. I wanna, I wanna see the overclocks on that. That's what seems really cool. But we're gonna get more experience as we mine, just a little bit. Not a ton, but we have extra XP gain, so getting a little bit of nitra too. Some red sugar over here. Heal up a bit. Oh, jeez. Come on. Blow, 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 blow. There we go. <laughs> Last minute level up. Um, I don't feel like I need a paint job on that. I'll just do fire rate for the pistol, giving us an overclock. Um, oh, I could turn it acid. Uh, we'll just say less reload speed, but way more clip size. If it ain't fire, I don't want it. Welcome, welcome, everyone here. Uh, Chonky Cat Bradley. TTG's a miner. I'm going to sell him alcohol. <laughs> okay, so, ooh, increase all fire damage. It's pretty good. Uh, we're going to level up the flamethrower's reload speed. And we're going to up all range of flamethrowers and all damage of the, the flamethrower's stuff. So, super good. Okay, we're on three of five here. Dude, the, 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 or the driller is so good for... Um, Oh, getting all of these out of game progression things. I mean, obviously, but super, super good. Nice. Love those blowy ups. So once again, we're looking for alpaca blooms. Along with everything else, we will mine this planet for its resources. If it's the last thing I do. Nice. Give me this nitra. And then I want this gold. And the fact that all this mining is giving me more experience. We're going to take XP gain. Uh, level 3 here. I probably won't take any XP gain further than this. Maybe a little bit more, but... Is this a new roguelike? Oh, it came out about two months ago. A little bit new. It's an early access. It's really, really fun. They took Deep Rock Galactic. 
turned it into a bullet heaven game that's extremely fun has a ton of awesome progression dude that microwave gun man oh that was a big chain reaction okay let me grab some of this experience here there's a supply drop here i'll turn around and grab that here in a second after i mine all of this stuff here and there we go there's the fire turrets so we have three fire weapons we could get the overclock on the uh the turrets as well so we're hoping to be able to get all of this stuff here big swarm coming that's fine we're looking for two more alpaca blooms um, I know that the stuff's down. Oh, magnet. Can't ever complain about a magnet. Uh, we'll level up the flamethrower. And we'll now go ahead and get uh, level 12. So we'll, the microwave gun in the future, we can now get overclocks for it. Um, dude, where? I know the beacon's bottom left. I'm just looking for some of these alpaca blooms before I go back down there. I don't see any, though. I just need two more alpaca blooms. 10% uh, damage of all your weapons. Absolutely. Okay, big swarm coming. Um, it's probably going to be a lot of experience if I try to go back this way. Yeah, I think I, I think I fight this. There's so much experience to get right here. We'll up the damage of the fire turrets. Oh my gosh, dude, so much experience. This is insane. Uh, increase all fire damage 10%, absolutely. Okay, um, status effect damage goes up. Okay, let me go back down to the bottom left. I wanna make sure I get the drop pod. Missing out on those is a big mistake if it were to happen. It's like bottom left somewhere. This is the drop pod. Oh, 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 oh. I say as I go up here. Status effect damage, let's go. Okay, there's the elite. We have plenty of time. I'm not scared of the game getting too hard. Got a very good build here. Okay, beacon is in literally this corner of the map. I think this is going to be one of the few times we're not going to get the secondary objective here. Finding the alpaca blooms. Um... Small chance to find gold when mining any kind of rock. Maybe we'll find some alpaca blooms over here. I don't know. It's a big burst of uh, gold and nitra that you find. If, uh... Okay, there's one alpaca bloom. Nice, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. That's big. Aliens grow stronger, whatever. I got the secondary objective done. Some more gold right here. We'll probably kill him right here while I'm mining, to be completely honest. Very strong build here. Let's go. And take a little bit of damage, that's fine. We'll take some armor here. Oh, okay. Little bit low. Little bit low. That's fine, it was worth it. We got so many resources. 10% damage of all beam damage. So we might not even get the overclocks, but because everything's the same damage type, it's really easy to get these super awesome upgrade level ups for them. So nice. On to area four here. Okay. So I will pay for the heal. I wish the unions would help me pay for this. <laughs> level up flamethrower damage. The fire rate of the pistol. Um, mining speed. Actually, I'm going to just re-roll. Ooh! Oh, that's Nitra. Dang it. Oh, 30% more status effect damage? And uh, we'll get luck. So it's a little bit higher rarity. Okay. Let's go. We got some uh, Nitra up here already. We're trying to find Alpaca Bloom again. Once again. So yeah, we're getting... I think extra gold, extra nitra, extra experience every time we mine. So that's why we're going on like a massive mining operation. I mean, also because we're the driller. But why not take the first luck? Uh, I didn't really want to spend. I was tempted on it. I felt we were a little bit too late in the run for luck. So that's why I didn't take it. It still would have been decent. I then took the second luck because we were kind of out of options. I mean, I could have re-rolled again, but I just at that point wanted to spend my money. So it was more like I was just looking for something better to spend and I didn't end up finding anything like a lot better to spend on. But 
because we only got two more areas. So, I mean, luck would have helped out. I was just, I was hoping for a little bit more because I really want a bunch of these overclocks, you know. Okay, level up, reload speed so we're close to the overclock on the flamethrower. We've already found now three of the flowers. There's some more over here. Just the constant damage that we're doing to these people is so satisfying. There is an alpaca bloom over there. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I grab it? Can I grab it? Nice. Kill the loot bug real fast. No remorse. A lot of gold over here. Have we done a gunner build? We have. Yeah, so I think this is our fourth video we've ever done. Uh, so, uh, all of the videos previously, yeah, we've done all the different classes. I don't remember the build we did with Gunner, but it was really fun. So, if you guys do end up enjoying this game, definitely one of the games we got a series for. Uh, we'll do, uh, Fire Rate on the Pistol. A lot of experience over here. A lot, a lot of experience. Num, 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 num. A little bit of damage, whatever. Uh, we'll do more damage on the microwave gun. Another alpaca bloom. Ooh, look at that experience. Okay, I'm gonna gather some experience here for a second. Just got a chain reaction, all these guys here. There's a supply beacon, no problem. Uh, okay, we're gonna level up 10% damage on all weapons. As much as I wanna get these overclocks. Those are so good. Okay, we're getting a little bit low here too though. I I'm playing a little bit aggressively. Uh, okay, we'll get the overclock of the flamethrower. Add another beam? Yes. We have three flamethrower beams now, baby. Three flamethrower beams. And uh, I will go do 4% movement speed. Movement speed is really nice against the Dreadnought boss. Okay, so this now, I think we want increase the healing granted on level up. We're kind of at that point. I could have done another mining thing, but we're, we're nearing the end game here, so I cannot believe I took that damage from that explosion. Uh, reload speed on the flamethrower. Uh, we will do reload speed again on the flamethrower, getting closer to more overclocks. We need to find some of these secondary objectives. Nine armor is really good. That's a lot of armor. Happily gonna take that. I'm gonna go mine some of this red sugar. That is the main elite we're gonna kill, so I don't think we're actually gonna have time. Maybe not for this secondary objective. We're gonna kill this guy too fast, probably. I'm trying to mine what I can here. I'm trying to find another alpaca bloom. Get some nitro here. Uh, we will do... We'll level up the pistol. Come on, where's an alpaca bloom? Where's an alpaca bloom? Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. And a bunch of gold in the fire. We got the secondary objective. We can die happy now. Nice, all this experience. Drop pods down here. Um, we will level up sentry turret. Just so I can get closer to the overclocks. What do the alpaca blooms do? So there's always a secondary objective in the top right. Um, and so our secondary objective for this one was to find six alpaca blooms. So once you complete it, you get a boost, uh, an extra bonus of nitra and gold, which are the currencies in the top left. Okay, so we're gonna level up 35% uh, reload speed on the flamethrower. We're gonna do 25% damage on the flamethrower. We're gonna do pickup radius. We're gonna pay for a heal. Reload time on everything. We'll re-roll. Reload speed on all of our fire weapons. Pretty good. And I'll do another pickup radius. Okay. So on the final area here now, we gotta try to kill all of the uh, dreadnought eggs. And uh, do it fast. Torch it. Are you hey, okay? uh, it's uh, it's Hinokami. Definitely pronouncing that wrong, but appreciate it. Thanks for following. Hoping to murder a dreadnought right here. Uh, while also getting all this out of game currency. Yeah, I think fire is just really good against um, the dreadnought and stuff. Rock and stone, brother. Rock and stone. 
We are we're doing some crazy awesome fire drill builds. This is our final build here. Hoping to get a W. Dude, the flamethrower stuff is just so good. It's just so good. Um Okay, we'll do 20 uh, max HP. Whatever. Just want to kill the elites as fast as possible so we have as much time to kill the dreadnought as needed. Uh, gold at this point in time will help us with rerolls. Hopefully that way we can get uh, some good overclocks here that we had just unlocked. You played drilled the most. Uh, so this is actually just our first time playing, or sorry, fourth time playing. Uh, so every time we uh, we stream, we're actually recording Let's Play videos. So um, if you want uh, to uh, to check out our YouTube channel, oh, we got a playlist. Um, so we've kind of just been trying out every class. So this is our last time trying out a class we've never uh, tried. Uh, when I played Deep Rock Galactic itself, I was a, an engineer main. <laughs> Um, and I really enjoyed the engineer, but I'm not gonna lie the driller in this game is really good because you can just mine all the resources kind of immediately and uh, I don't know I've been able to buy so much more than I normally uh, can from the shops and stuff So there we go level up the sentry gun or f oh my gosh plus one beams the flamethrowers are double flamethrowers now, too All these overclocks have been so good Engineers your favorite as well. Yeah engineers really dope engineers really dope Okay, killing both of these elites here. Oh, there's the, uh... Oh, is that a magnet? We gonna get a magnet? Some level ups here. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna go do the supply beacon first. Supply beacon, magnet, and then we'll be good to, uh, go fight the dreadnought here. Pyromaniac build, exactly. I use him uh, in this as well. The plasma overclock does uh, wonders. Yeah, I think we did the plasma overclock one time. It's hard for me to remember when we did engineer. We could try to save this to kill the dreadnought, but whatever. Uh, okay, now we're gonna just say 70 max HP, two life regen. Pretty good. And we'll get this gold. We'll go grab the magnet, and we'll kill the dreadnought. Actually, I lied. There's uh, there's a little bit more out of game progression here. We can get right here. There we go. And we're the driller. Driller's good for this shit. Level up. Increase all beam damage. I mean, you just gotta. You gotta go for that. As much as I'd like more overclocks. Beam damage go burr. Okay, where's the map? I don't even think you... Can you open up the map? I don't remember if you're just allowed to open up the map. I don't think so. Gotta find the dreadnought. We wanna start this fight sooner than later. Uh, level up flamethrower. Oh, there was status effect and beam damage. I probably should have done that, but if we could get a second overclock, it'd be pretty big. Okay, it took me way too long to find the uh, this egg here. So we're not gonna have a ton. We're not gonna be a ton of ahead of time. Okay, run, run. We've we've summoned a dreadnought. Oh jeez. Dude, we are cooking him with a microwave. We are cooking him. Dude, it, dude is getting cooked. <laughs> oh man, dude. Oh man, dude. Already at half health. Already at half health. Some red sugar I can grab right here. Oh, he's jumping. Oh shit, he jumped on me. I took a lot of damage there. That's fine. We got health regeneration. That one artifact with health regeneration is very good. He's gonna jump. That's fine. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe I got, I got hit like that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because we cook him. We cook him. Let's go. And then we get 50% fire rate on our pistol. <laughs> Whatever. We did it! So we got not one, but two W's this video. Let's go! Let's go. So now we've beaten the first area of each of the areas except that fourth area that we just unlocked. So we've unlocked the overclocks in the future for that microwave gun. Let's go. So upgrades, meta progression. Um, 
Gonna focus on mining speed first, because we're not always gonna play driller. <gasps> and then we're gonna upgrade uh, life regeneration and then crit chance. I'd say crit chance is always more important than uh, crit damage there. So, um, yeah, so there we go. Look at that we've done. We've completed first of hazard one completely, first of hazard one there. Obviously, this hazard one, we need to uh, reach level 30 with the engineer. Um, oh, I just wait. Reach level th Oh, Oh, yeah, just playing on that map. And then we unlocked these salt pits, uh, which we're definitely going to be trying out. If we keep playing more of this game in the future, uh, definitely going to be trying uh, the salt pits. And then just going back to because now we can play whatever character we want, right? Um, and... And uh, some of them have the different start, like Scout, you know, they have the different starting class and stuff like that. So there's still a lot more that we could do in Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Uh, it is a super fun game. Uh, and so for those of you guys, you know, watching after the fact on YouTube, uh, let me know if you want to keep seeing more of this game. I'm sure it's going to keep getting updated as well. Uh, not that we need it. Mean, we still have so much we could unlock and do in this game. So let me know if you want to see more. At the very least, it's been fun checking out all the different classes and stuff like that. Um, so like I said, Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like the big boy YouTubers say to be notified uh, when or if more Deep Rock Galactic Survivors videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. Uh, check out our playlist for all the other builds we've got and all the classes we've tried out. Uh, and if you're going to be grinding out some Deep Rock Galactic Survivor on your own, then I wish you guys luck and rock and stone.